Hey guys, how are you? Hope things are going well for you. Just want to make this video to talk to you about a few things. And, um, you know, I've got a Amazon shipment going out today. I was spending the pretty much most of the day so far uh, listing, finishing up a shipment, um, packing up some stuff. And I've got these boxes and they're ready to go. And it's about 14 boxes total. And it's unfortunately going to four different places. And I got to say, this is kind of like a little bit of a rant. Uh, I can't understand a single benefit that Amazon would have. That I cannot understand a single reason why they've got to split up shipments. And let me just explain real quick, because I know people are like, yeah, well, if, they, if you send them to different places, then they don't have to send them to different places. Well, what I would, I guess what I'm suggesting Amazon does is, would it be that complicated for Amazon to just say, okay, uh, instead of having you, you know, send 100 here, 50 there, 40 here, and 200 there, and 300 that place, why don't they just be like, okay, we're going to alternate the shipments, you, know, you send 600 this time to this place, okay, you're not going to send it there next time. Send 500 to this place this time, you're not going to send it there for a while. And just kind of alternate, you know, that'd be a, a million times easier for me. It'd be easier for everybody, I think. I can't understand. I mean, these books are completely random. I know, I guess, you could say, well, maybe Amazon has some sort of a, a, a database where they're like, okay, well, we don't have this book at this warehouse. I get it. I know. But I'll tell you, I mean, if I was sending in, like, 100 books and doing this part-time, I just wouldn't do it. I would not do it. Because... I mean, I've heard of people where they, where they have it going up to like seven different places, and I'm like, man, are you kidding me? Because I've got a small place to work with, and it's kind of awkward as it is sending four or five different shipments out um, because I've actually sent some to the wrong place, and that kind of gets a little bit messy. And I just, it, it just, it's really stupid. I think if you're like sending in a whole bunch of stuff, maybe they should give you some sort of an exception. I mean, I, it's just pretty ridiculous. But um, anyway. I'm sending out some of these books, and it should be some excellent profit in this. A lot of this stuff was, like, um, really high-quality, uh, super lightweight paperbacks that I got for cheap. So it's like, you know, if I get a book for 50 cents and I sell it for $10 FBA, I'm making some pretty good money on that when you consider the volume, okay? And that's pretty much why I like Amazon FBA so much. It's about being able to do so much volume. And there are a hell of a lot of books out there that you could pick up for 50 cents and sell for $10 that are ranked like, uh, you know, 40K in books or less. I mean, that's that's a pretty fast selling book. And as I was saying before in our Hangout uh, Resellers Roundtable, you know, we were talking about um, just everything to do with reselling. I hope you guys check that out. If you haven't seen it, you definitely should. We've already got uh, a few episodes out of that. And that's every Tuesday night at 9 o'clock uh, Eastern. Um, you know, as I was saying, I was like, I really want to build my business and grow it some more and have fun doing it. So, uh, things with the books are going really well, and on eBay, the clothing is going really well. And at this point, it's just like, okay, well, I'll just keep doing what's working and keep working on uh, new things, different things that, um, you know, like I'm trying, I'm really trying to get into the, the suits and the blazers and the sport coats, and I'm having some fun there. I'm selling some really interesting stuff. And it's just, it's just really something cool that I think everyone should pretty much get into. Because there is some really good profit margin on that stuff, but it, it does take a little bit of getting used to how you do it. Uh, because it can be kind of complicated. There's there's so many different things to do with measuring and storing them properly. But the good news is, um, if you're looking for those types of videos, I'm going to be coming out with some of them. I've actually, uh, as far as the books go, I've held back an awful lot of books. I just haven't sent them in. I've been kind of like hoarding them because they're the ones that are really interesting or super valuable. Or just I, the ones that I think are really interesting. So I've kind of, I got like a pile of them going, and I, um, I've been meaning to make a video, and I'll try to, try to do that today. Um, but I'm trying to make some more videos that people enjoy. I'm really trying to have some more fun with the channel, and um, I know I got, I got an awful lot of comments on the Ride Along video. They're like, yeah, this is great, because it just shows like who you are down to earth, and just, uh, you know, not being fake or anything. This is just reality. And uh, I really appreciate that, and uh, it's great that people... You know, they just they just like to see uh, who I actually am as a person and not necessarily, oh, you know, I'm just a full-time reseller. Because I'm just a normal person, just like anybody else. I'm not any, you know, I'm not some kind of special person. Like, I see uh, sometimes people leave me comments and they're like, oh, man, you're so awesome. Like, you are so cool. I love you. And it's like, well, I appreciate it. You know, thanks a lot. Um, but, hey, um, whatever I do, whenever I do it, you know, I, I am not like some kind of 
you know, superpower person. I'm just a regular person out there. I'm just a regular guy. And uh, the only differences between me and someone that, you know, maybe they're not making as much money or, or, or doing as well in the business, maybe they're just not trying hard enough or maybe they're not studying hard enough or, you know, trying to learn about all the different things. And as I always say before, I am not some freaking, I'm not like getting rich doing this. But, you know, my increase, uh, my profit increases each year and I'm having, I'm having lots of fun. So that's really what matters most to me is having fun and making money and just the two combined. I mean, it's just fantastic. So uh, I've really become extremely motivated with, um, I mean, ever since Craigslist Hunter came onto YouTube and started making videos, man, that's just so freaking awesome. And uh, it really just energizes me to, to get out there and make some more videos uh, because he's kind of raising the bar, you know, as to uh, content that's out there. So you guys can thankfully... Uh, be happy that I'm going to be trying to come out with some more content. That's really awesome. And um, I guess that's what my goals are for the future now. Put out some more awesome content and really just have some more fun. And uh, I might be doing a little bit more vlogging stuff. I might even get into, um, you know, some stuff to do with Nigel the Cat. If you don't know about him, you should obviously know who Nigel is. But uh, pretty much that's all I wanted to say, guys. Um, as you can see, I'm sending this stuff out right now. I got to get over to the UPS. Just wanted to set, just wanted to show you this, and hopefully it motivates someone to get out there and make some money because that's that's uh, that's really what it's not not what it's all about. But got to make some money, right? If you wanna if you wanna do this full time. So uh, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, if you have any ideas for videos, I know I want to get into uh, you know more how to type stuff because a lot of people really like those videos. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later.